again questions and this question is somewhat philosophical spiritual and the question is what is intense deep meditation and suddenly it flashed me back when i was working in the goat sala taking care of the cows cleaning the removing the cow dung giving bath to the cows milking the cows feeding the cows in the early morning i'm talking early morning around 4 o'clock 3:30 4 o'clock and by the time it comes to an end of milking around 6 6:30 no not 6:30 5 530 i see quite a lot of people walking and running and cycling for a second i looked at them i was shocked what nonsense <laughs> Because here with early morning 3.30 to around 5.30, 6, I'm sweating. This is a cold season I'm talking. I'm sweating, I'm feeling very healthy, very energetic. I'm thinking, what if these people are running for what? They should have done it in the house. When you're in deep in that work, Karma Yoga, suddenly you felt your other things become so cheap. There is no past time. present future it is instant such was the beauty that is deep meditation swami muktananda this is the second quote swami muktananda said through intense deep meditation you reach a state that is beyond thought beyond change beyond imagination beyond differences and duality deep meditation reaches and everybody think meditation means to sit in a folded Let's lock your fingers, close your eyes, and concentrate on the third eye. Concentrate on your inhalation, exhalation. All that is okay. I can understand. You have the right to sit in that position only if you have done karma yoga. Karma yoga is the toughest of the exercise to remove the last drop of your excess fat in the body. Only skeletal muscles should. and you sweat and sweat as if you have taken bath with the uh, salt water and salt water bath is very good so you don't fall sick such is the beauty and those who have not done that karma yoga that that also karma yoga say keep doing goes without expecting results and you cannot look into the dictionary language you cannot even technically take it out to find out keep doing work without expecting results and you don't look into the result because in karma yoga when you deeply involved keep doing will not come results will not come you are just maddening love and it is saturates of the saturates and for the material it is a orgasmic experience of the experience everything stops for a second all lovers want the world to stop when the, the boy and the girl together is in a park and they many times they told me when we are there we want the whole world to only we should be <laughs> such as you just everything stops and you are just you and the what you and the love only after that you can have the right to sit in meditation all ashrams failed in that hence india lived in poverty india was invaded just because of that that is part one through intense deep meditation Karma Yuga is a deep meditation. You reach a stage that is beyond thought. Thought, nothing will stay there. You cannot even call it borrowed knowledge because you are deeply involved. Beyond change, yes, that can come only through Raja Yoga, Karma Yoga. Then you come to Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti means every work when you do, you do. You don't have to come and sit. in the puja room or in the ashram to do the bhakti yoga your bhajan as and as you are doing your work automatic song comes of its own and if you are a little conscious everyone work what you have planned it you will sing that mantra that particular song when you put a plan or a seed you will sing the song on that particular plant the seed will go inside this much manure to be mixed up this much soil to be mixed up you are to water it up and then when you water if you love it you water you make sure it is fenced up the cows doesn't dig all that is a song only be 
people who can do that bhakti yoga. And then they do not have to look at any book, no Bhagavad Gita, no Ramayana, no Puranas, no Vedas, no Quran, no Bible. You yourself is Quran, you yourself is Bible, you yourself is Bhagavad, you yourself is Ramayana, you yourself is Puranas and Vedas. Because all the experience talks comes beyond change, beyond imagination, beyond imagination. Swami Mukta, it's understood. That was a real quote of Swami Muktananda. It's very rare to find out from any other great gurus beyond differences and dual, duality differences you don't find any how could you find differences when you're deep in love you and the subject and once you finish that you come and sit in meditation meditation happens of its own you have, don't have to work hard to see that inhale exhale follow the inhalation exhalation try to be silent nothing of that sort you just go not into deep sleep. Many, many of the people who practice meditation goes into deep sleep within a small time. You will never because you'll be so conscious of watching every stress and strain in the body falling like a dead leaf falling from a branch of a tree. How does a dead leaf fall from branch of a tree? It dances, relaxes, and the total body relaxes. The greatest scientists also say when the total body is in a relaxed position, no disease can attack you. When the total body is in a relaxed position, you can cure any disease very fast. But nowadays in the hospitals, they frighten you to the core. People, all the people are going to hospital living in fear. Hence, they go for multiple organ failure for the hospitals to loot you and kill you and take the money from all what you have made for the last 40, 50 years. Yes, loot. Swami Muktananda said, that is deep intense meditation. Once you understand the deep intense meditation, you and your lover, you and your wife, or your wife and the husband, you both melt in a deep intense meditation. Don't worry about whether to make love or not. No, 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 when it happens, it happens. Everybody is thinking, the moment you, touch the wife or husband, you have to make love and just sit. And the melting happens of its own. But that karma yoga of you with your wife, karma yoga for you and the work, karma yoga for you and the book of the subject. If you can understand that consciousness, that is deep meditation. Once you understand deep meditation, yes, you have got it. You are the guru, you are the master, you are the truth. And in that truth lies the most beautiful ornament in the world to everybody's heart. The loving heart.